from. You know, some of them are live on Facebook, it's just going live on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it says we're going live on YouTube. Oh, live streaming isn't available at the moment on YouTube. Try again. You're live, it says now. Cool. Two, one. Hello everyone, and it's that time again. 6 p.m. Tuesday night. That must mean it's time for Boss Live. I'm excited. Are you excited, Ian? I'm very excited indeed because today's recipe is a goodie. So we are in protein week. That's right, we're going to be giving you loads of gym food, packed full of protein, and if there are carbohydrates, they're good. They're like high quality whole grain carbs. And today we're cooking the saute sweet potato boss bowl. Oh, it's a good one, and here is what it looks like. Woohoo! That's right, that's the one. That is from our first cookbook, Bosch. Here it is. Um, we're so proud of this book. We're so proud of this recipe. It's packed with protein, packed with flavour, super easy to put together. And we're going to show you how to do it really quickly. Um, before we do that, you may have the ingredients. You may be cooking along. You may want to pause this video from time to time in order to catch up with us. That's totally fine. And Ian has got something in his ear. Yes, I do. As you can see, I've got a couple of AirPods, and the person at the other end of the AirPods is producer Kathy. Uh, so if you have any questions or any comments, just drop them down in the boxes below, and she will relay them to me. But without further ado, we're going to get into it, to making our saute sweet potato boss bowl. Packed with protein, super easy. Let's get on with it. First step, we have some sweet potato. Now, this sweet potato is absolutely delicious. It's, you know, just that little bit sweeter than your regular potato. It's also a bit lower GI, the glycemic index, so that means it's gonna be slightly better for your body. Um, so if you can opt for sweet potato, it's always a really, really good option. And what we're gonna do with this sweet potato and this red onion, which has been quartered, is to roast them, to really like extract all of that flavor, just kind of intensify the deliciousness of these with the help of the oven. And the other benefit of that is it's just really quick and easy as well. You don't really have to do much. You could just go and like watch the telly while this is happening. Should we do that? No, we no, 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 <laughs> no, we're live. We won't do that. Okay, so on this tray, we now have our sweet potato, our red onion, and our garlic. And I'm just gonna kind of gently put a little bit of oil over everything. We don't wanna overdo it with the oil because we're in a healthy world this week. And then sprinkle over First of all, some salt. It's really good to layer your salt if you can. So, you know, getting salt in at each stage of the cooking process rather than just at the end. And then of course, some chili flakes because we're not messing around. We like a little bit of heat. You can leave this out if this isn't for you. And then lastly, a touch of pepper just to kind of finish off that seasoning. These little beauties are gonna go into the oven for 15 minutes and I can't wait to show you just how tasty they're gonna be, especially those red onions. So up, and out. Ooh, look at that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so if you're wondering why Henry pulled it up and out, it's because we are currently making a Bosch video on the hoof. That's right, we're making it live. So what you're gonna have is um, the full edited version hitting Bosch TV very soon. And the lady who will be editing it is the lady in my ear. And as I said before, if you've got any questions or comments, do let us know in the boxes below and we'll try and answer as many of them as we possibly can. Now, in that time that Ian was speaking, uh, this finished roasting. No, I'm joking, that's not what happened. This is one that we prepared earlier. So you can see after 15 minutes of roasting, our sweet potatoes have softened, our garlic has softened, and as Ian commented earlier, the best thing that's happened here is this red onion has become almost like a little sweetie. Ooh, yes. Mm. Very sweet. Very sweet. Super sweet. So that's a great hack for just getting all of the sweetness out of a red onion, is to just chuck it in the oven and then eat it. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. 
you have to fill, fill the silence for a minute while I'll I chew. Okay, so um, I think we've made a little bit of an error on our website and we told you only to roast the sweet potato. We did not to roast the, uh, the red onion, so we apologize about that. Um, roast it for 20 minutes and it should be absolutely fine. But if you want to sort of cook along with us right now, good thing to do is get that red onion, chop it up nice and fine, fry it off in a pan and it should be ready for when the rest of the bowl is ready. But our apologies for that. Nice. Um, you know, we, we're freestyling, right? It's, it's, we're doing our best to get all those ingredients right, but it's a lot of work to put into this, so thank you for bearing with us um, while we get it right. The next thing we have going onto this tray is this lovely broccoli. You could use tender stem, but we've actually just used a broccoli, a giant head of broccoli. Chopped it into the florets, and now I'm just gonna tip these florets onto this same baking tray and pop all of this back into the oven for about another 10 minutes or so. The key thing here is they cook at different times, so we do need to give them different times in the oven. That wasn't right, was it? I'll go up, <laughs> up and out, up and out. This is how it works, right. And Bosch video style. Boom. Up. And... Oh, lovely. There we go. How cool is that? You're seeing how we do it behind the scenes. That's right, there's some trickery involved in making the Bosch video. And you're getting it all right about life. So hopefully all of you guys that are cooking along with us um, um, are chopping up your red onions nicely and getting them fried or just sort of roasting them with, and, and taking it a little bit longer than you would have otherwise. I do love a red onion. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> red onions are one of my favourite things. Um, so talking about trickery and making a Bosch video, here now is one that we prepared earlier. So now you can see our broccoli have nicely roasted, our red onions have nicely roasted, and our sweet potato is like nice and soft and delicious. I'll give one of these to Ian to taste. Ooh, go on then. Lucky Ian, look, right, there he right. goes. Let's have a look. Meanwhile, I'll clear the deck over here to get ready for our satay sauce. Oh, keeping the skin on is a really good idea because you, um, you get just a really nice texture. Uh, yeah, and also, save you peeling. <laughs> what we got going on? Another trick you could do with that red onion, actually, is um, you can do that in the barbecue. I think if you've ever seen a chef called DJ Barbecue, yeah. we cooked with him once upon a time at a festival. Oh, do you remember being able to go to festivals? That seems like a long, long time ago, doesn't it? This yeah. is just the new reality. Yeah, the new reality is we all stay at home all the time. Um, but I remember DJ Barbecue telling me about his dirty onions, where he basically takes whole onions, like five or six of them, and just chucks them in the barbecue on the stones mm. and just lets them kind of burn and develop and blacken. And just the sweetness you get in an onion when you really, really heat it is incredible. Yeah, onions are so good. They're so good. So our, our roasted veggies all done there. So next up, we're gonna make a satay sauce. Super quick, super simple. Um, we are gonna use the Nutribullet, which is gonna help us to really quickly whiz everything together. So Ian's gonna get his lovely focus, but in the meantime, we've got that beautiful top camera, yeah. and I'll talk you through all the ingredients that are gonna go into our satay sauce. Satay sauce is a kind of Asian, peanutty sauce that you'll often find with curries. And I have to say, it's one of my favorite things in the entire world. I mean, peanut butter is great on its own, but the minute you combine it with uh, lime, with chili, with ginger, with garlic, and with a little bit of either salt or soy sauce, it just becomes something extra special. And to top all that off, we've got some coriander. Some of you might not like that coriander, but this is one of my favorite things in the world as well. So we're gonna pop that in there too. First up, in with our peanut butter. Do I need that or shall uh, I use a spoon? No, no, you can just yeah, like use that straight. Okay. Pop that straight in there into our Nutribullet. Any high powered blender would do at this stage. I wouldn't really fancy doing this by hand, <laughs> um, but, uh, but you know, whatever you've got should do the trick. You could of course use smooth peanut butter, but we've opted for crunchy. Doesn't really matter because we're gonna blitz it all down to a dressing anyway in with the juice of two limes. If you can be bothered, you could also just grate the skin, the zest of that lime in there, and that's gonna add an even more beautiful fragrance to this dish. But we're doing this live, we wanna keep this nice and quick for you lot, so we're just gonna squeeze in the juice and be done. Someone's just asked Kat, um, what would we do, or what would you do if you didn't like coriander? And I think a really simple answer to that is just to sub it out, because it would still be delicious without 
That's right. I don't, I don't think there's an obvious sub in. I probably wouldn't use parsley, even though they are kind of closely related. Just leave it out. You don't need the coriander in here if you don't like it. But you know, you can acquire a taste you? for things. <laughs> I didn't used to like olives. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yeah, this is very true. Also, you could, uh, you could zest your lime if you wanted that tiny little bit of green. Oh man, the tang, the tang of that lime. I definitely recommend zesting the lime. Next, I'm going to pop in half of a fresh red chili. We've taken the seeds out. You can go a little bit crazy with this if you want to leave them in. It's always good actually, a good tip here is to just try eating a little bit of your, uh, eating a little bit of your chili and you can see how spicy or otherwise it is. That one's not too spicy. We've got quite a lot in there. That should be fine. But if it's super, super punchy, you can then decide to reduce the amount. So garlic and ginger have just gone in. And the next thing is some soy sauce. Um, could someone use a different nut butter if they so wished? <laughs> you could freestyle and maybe try an almond butter if that's what you've got hanging around. That would work. Um, we talked about this the other day actually because we got asked this question before and we, we, we landed on tahini as maybe being an option uh, that's a kind of nut free option but we've not tried it. No, maybe we should try, maybe get yeah. a, a teeny satay. Tahini yeah. satay. Teeny. Teeny, teeny. Tahini <laughs> satay. Boom. Yeah, nut free satay. Yeah. Could be, because some people don't like nuts, but then they probably wouldn't like seeds either. Yeah. What do you think about that? Let us know yeah. in the comments below. If you can't have nuts, if you don't like nuts, do you like seeds? Who knows? Um, definitely don't make yourselves ill. If you're allergic, be really careful. Uh, we want you all to stay super healthy in, in this crazy world that we're now living in and beyond. The final thing I'm gonna add into here, because we're looking for a dressing, not so much a sauce, is just some water. So if I pour that water in, I'll put about that much water in. That's going to loosen it and help it to really be nice and runny and pour all over our salad. And of course, the coriander that we talked about before, you can leave this out if you prefer. Leave it out. <laughs> I'm definitely putting it in. I love a bit of coriander. That's going in the blender too. All of those good things are packed in there, making friends, hanging out, and they're about to become homogenized into one delicious dressing. One sec, let me get, can I get the... Uh... Yeah, absolutely, I'll wait for you. So if you've just joined us, this is Bosch Live. I'm Henry, that's Ian, we are Bosch, and we're cooking along with you every, every night this week, actually. Uh, Bosch time is 6 p.m. Today we're making our satay sweet potato Bosch bowl. It's high protein, it's healthy. In fact, we're on a health tip at the moment, aren't we, Ian? Yes, but indeed we are. We're working out every single day. We're eating as healthy a food as we possibly can. We've stopped buying sweeties. Yeah, no more sweeties. <laughs> and, uh, and now, because this is protein week, we're eating loads of protein-rich, wonderful, healthy, vegan food. What's the last workout you did? Uh, the last workout that I did, was it yesterday? Did you run like... 14 miles. A really long way. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, basically tomorrow uh, I'm going to do nine miles and that'll be 100 mile month. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so, wow, yeah. 100 miles in a month. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, I started the day with my two hours of gymnastics kind of strength training, mobility this morning, and then spent 20 minutes giving myself pain on a foam roller, <laughs> like really on my knees and shins. So feeling good. <laughs> but anyway, back to our sauce, satay sauce. And there and it let's is. Let's see how good this looks when it's blended. To do the blender dance. <laughs> nice, and there he is. <laughs> ready? Ready, ready, you are. Boom. And there it is. Okay, so that is a beautiful looking thing. There, there he is on Mr. Top Cam. Really cool colour. Really, really, really gorgeous looking thing. Uh, in case you're wondering, that was the blender dance, um, the blitz hits from Living on the Veg, our TV show. And that is what the inside looks like of our satay sauce. So much coriander, it's kind of got a green tinge. Mm. I bet, I oh bet it tastes God. amazing though. Mate, it smells. Oh my God. Yeah, I can confirm <laughs> that smells exceptionally good. Absolutely stupendous, <laughs> the flavour of this thing. So, if you take nothing more from today's video, please take this dressing, cook it for your loved ones, um, ideally put it on some plant-based food and just show them how delicious plants can be, because that mm. 
I mean, that's incredible. You could, uh, I reckon you could get that and you could just sort of have that with some like julienne carrots and just have it with some like wholemeal noodles. So you just have that as a really nice kind of dressing for a noodle dish. It would be so, so good. It's gonna turn anything yeah. into an absolutely gorgeous cacophony of saute. So uh, yeah, definitely play around with this dressing. And th this whole recipe actually, you know, we call it a Bosch bowl, which basically is just our version of a Buddha bowl. Um, but you can, we're popping in our roasted veg, you can really freestyle and pop whatever you like in there. Just make sure you've got some protein and ideally high quality carbohydrates. It's all about those high quality carbs. Um, how are you guys doing over quarantine? Are you managing to eat a nice, well-rounded diet? Are you like sort of dipping into the cupboards and pulling out ingredients that you haven't cooked with for years and years? Let us know in the comments below. And also, if there are any things that you would like to see us cook in this format, then please, any ideas are warmly welcome. So uh, yeah, we'll try and do our best for you because we are here for you guys. I guess we're open to suggestions for another week's theme of recipes. So next week, can we tell them what we're doing next week? Yeah, why not? Yeah! Nat will be like, what the Yeah. <laughs> next week is a very exciting week because we have cake week. So next week is gonna be all about baking. Yes. I hope flour might be an issue. Flour could well be an issue, <laughs> but I've heard down the grapevine that supermarkets are getting restocked and also <clears> you can <throat> buy big bags of flour and also <clears throat> Yeah, the flour might be an issue, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge. Okay, so we'll work on the flour thing, but next week is definitely gonna be bake week, cake week, and it's to celebrate the fact that we may have some special cakes coming your way soon. Yes, we won't tell you too much more about that, but that is a little sneaky peek, especially for our lovely live viewers. The, the live crew. Yeah. Right, enough waffle. I, we are definitely filling the time here. This is yeah. quite a quick and easy recipe. Um, but the next step is to essentially assemble our Bosch bowl. And the first thing I'm gonna start with is the humble avocado. There it is. Oh, that's a good looking thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good one. It, I mean, like, that avocado is so good, it could almost be on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's got yeah. a few. Oh, you can have two. Yeah. One on each, um, <laughs> one on each mamboo. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what we're going to do to get this avocado apart is we're just going to use the knife to just squeeze out, kind of really insert it into the top, attach it to that, and get rid of it. See how smooth that was? It's better not to do it in your hand. A lot of people will get avocado hand like that. So just keep it on the board, use the knife to pull out that stone. And then I'm just gonna use a spoon to kind of find my way around the edge of the avocado. Also being sure to give you a nice shot on Mr. Side come over there. Um, depending on how ripe it is, will vary the ease with which you'll get this avocado out. Um, but unless you're like making some kind of crazy avocado designs, it doesn't really matter. Good. Look at that. So let's get this bad boy out of there. And there we go. Now I'll just pop him onto our chopping board. There There's our avocado. <coughs> I've got a really nice little shot in there on that side now. Lovely. Look, there it is. It's a funny looking thing. Um, and now simply use your knife to slice open the avo. Nice and easy. Being careful not to cut your finger in the process. You can utilize the claw technique, or you can just do it like slowly and carefully. It's like just, a big soft green egg. Yeah, a dinosaur egg. Yeah. Just always pay attention whilst you stood there with a knife. Don't let someone catch you off guard because that's when accidents happen. Now, if you saw what I did there, I'm just kind of spreading this avocado out to make a nice little pattern around the outside of our salad. That's for you, what's that knife? Oh, and like I said before, if you've got any comments or quotes or questions, then let us know in the comments below. Quotes? Quotes? Yeah, quotes. Let's, yeah, let's get yeah, a quote. Give us quote. Yeah. We, we, we had a good one yesterday when we were watching that Jordan thing. Okay. It's like the guy was saying that Michael Jordan is the best guy to ever do a job of any person ever to do a job ever. I and mean, it, he, was, it, he was better at his yeah. job than most people yeah, are yeah. at anything. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. Good quote, eh? Oh, wow. Right, I'm gonna use this time just to get yeah, just, you, you've, got me, you've got me thinking about protein. I know, yeah. <laughs> Guys, if, you're, if you are following this along, then we would love to hear your, your quotes that you like. We'll read out the best three quotes yeah. that Kathy tells us at the end of this show, 
Uh, any quote will do, as long as it's not, you know, hate speech. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to repeat that stuff. But yeah, any kind of quote that you like, tell us. Boo. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, okay. Back to the food. So, we are using quinoa here. So, we have a mix of red and white quinoa. Uh, for this, we used a kind of pre-cooked packet because it was just so much easier. This is about quick cooking and we wanted to make sure it was fast and easy. If you want to cook your quinoa, you can. Um, just have a look on the pack for the instructions. It does take a little bit longer. It's a bit more of a faff, so it's absolutely your call. The good thing about quinoa is not only does it taste good, but it's super high in protein and it's in complete protein, so it's got all of the amino acids your body needs. Yeah, uh, complete proteins. Another one would be peanut butter on toast. Peanut butter on toast, which I had for breakfast this morning. Yeah, <laughs> Ian loves peanut butter on toast. Don't oh, you? so good. Better jam on there as well. You're away. Actually, I had peanut butter on toast with banana and cinnamon today. Oh, yum. Yeah, yeah. Good place to be. Okay, sweet potato is going on. So what we're going to do with this sweet potato is just kind of artfully dress a few bits around. You don't have to use it all. And then nice. we're going to add those wonderfully roasted red onions on there as well. Looks so good. Looks so, so good. We're, we're kind of looking at a kind of messy style here. Yeah. You know, food styling is a thing. Uh, it's not a thing that you have to really worry about. Um, but actually, messy is a good thing. When you're taking a picture of your food, it kind of helps to have a little bit of movement within the dish, which is exactly what we're aiming for here. Yes, oh my goodness gracious. I mean, like that, if you just take a good old look at that dish now, I mean, that is just, it's brimming with texture and flavour and protein. Good Protein, me. yes. This is good gym food, perfect to support your gym routine, even if it's a home gym routine. Here is a piece of roasted garlic. I love this stuff. Although, you don't want to eat it if you're going to be kissing anybody. Because uh, <laughs> it's definitely... Don't just that for me anyway. No, well, there you go. <laughs> if you're on lockdown, you're kissing my missus, yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> what? Um, so, Ian, you can have the garlic, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, next, we're going to add another source of protein. Uh, a great source of protein, which vegans and non-vegans alike love. And that is hummus. So I'm just going to get some hummus and dollop it right on the side of this dish and I'll kind of like like to spoon that around and get a little bit of that involved as I eat it. This stuff is really tasty. It goes with almost anything. Probably doesn't go with breakfast. Um, but the thing about hummus is it is quite high in calories so you know do be, be aware of that and don't eat the whole tub. Someone made a joke on Facebook when they, they got a tub of hummus and they were like, these tubs are single serving, aren't they? Well, they are, aren't they? Well, I think they're actually, there's quite a lot of calories in that hummus. Yeah, probably. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't go too wild. But, I mean, who's counting calories anyway? We tried some smoked hummus the other day. And, oh, my Lord. Oh, oh man, yeah. But it was very Moorish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we are in the most exciting place of all. We'll just have a little sniff to remind ourselves how delicious. Mm. Yeah, that sauce is. I mean, can we see that from all angles? Can we see that there, maybe? Yeah. It's nice. Side green. cam's looking good. Top cam, how's that looking? Green. Got some focus. It's quite weirdly green, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like matcha. It's really like a coriander yeah. saute. And now what's going to happen is I'm just going to dribble that all over this lovely dish. We don't want to go too crazy. There we go. But just make sure all aspects of this bowl I've got some of this wonderful dressing. That is good. Oh, oh, goodness me. That is good. Bless me. Very good indeed, Jesus. That is a thing that I want to eat right now, but it's not ready yet because we have the final touch that we want to add to this dish. And in fact, any dish that we make like this, any salad, any tray bake, will always finish off with some nuts and seeds. For texture, yes. For omega-3, yes. Oh, and for just protein again. Look and it, yeah, it also just helps with the kind of look and feel of the thing as well. Looks so good. It makes it look and feel like you've actually thought about the presentation as well as the ingredients. So there we go. A few random little bits of crunch. Good for your body. Good for your omega fatty acids as Ian says. High in protein, high in good fats and absolutely delicious. Let's have a look at that. That is a damn good looking <laughs> dish. I'm really happy with that. I, and, and so should be. I think it's great. It looks really, really, really good. Um, is it time to taste? I mean, unless we've got any good quotes, uh, we should probably taste it. But before we taste it, a few things. First of all, 
Do subscribe if you're not already. Whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, hit subscribe or like and hit that little notification thing so you know when we go live. Because we're going to be doing this, well at least for this week, maybe for next week too. We don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm giggling to myself because Cash just put the first quote in and I'm not going to repeat it. It's from a girl called Sophie and it's something about um, grass on the pitch and playing, playing wool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did say that any quote. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, so do subscribe. And if you want to cook along with us tomorrow, the ingredients are at www.boss.tv. And we are cooking. Ooh, what are we cooking? I, oh, I think we're cooking something out speedy. I think we're speedy cooking uh, meaty spaghetti. Sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meaty yeah. spag bol. Meaty spag bol yeah. is, is on the menu tomorrow. Vegan, obviously. And it's, like we said, it's from our brand new book, Speedy Bosch, which is coming out in 17th of September. Pre-orders now, available. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so go, go grab that if you want to. And now let's taste this and see what we think. Before we just get the taste, we need to get that unctuous... Oh, get the spoon, shots. Spoon yeah, yeah, shot. okay. Right, so... What would you like me to spoon? Just uh, a bit of everything. Reckon, yeah, or just... Right oh, in there. Th that bit there is nice, isn't Yeah, it? okay. Go for it. Bit of everything. And three, two... Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. And straight to that. Yes! Very good! Mm. Very, very good. Um, housemates assemble! Yay. FJ! We need to um, just mm. prove to the masses, you guys, that this is indeed exceptionally delicious. Delicious? Wow. So, thoughts on that. That sauce is absolutely incredible. It's sticky, it's umami, it's salty. It's got that lovely kind of pepperiness from the coriander. And it just envelopes all of those little individual ingredients perfectly. I can taste the garlic. <laughs> I'm getting that garlic in there too. Yeah. That is delicious gym food. Um, just before these guys eat, I'm just gonna say big up to my mother and father for sending us forks yes. because we didn't have any <laughs> forks you. and this thank is you. a fork from Sheffield. So thank you very much, mum and dad. You Darren, are amazing, thank you. This is Darren, he's our housemate, body weight D. See what you think. Okay, I'm gonna touch Gym in. food. Yeah. So I want, I love broccoli, so I'm gonna get involved with that. And a little bit of avocado. Oh, I feel like, um, Oh, he's not, he's trying to cook with a spoon. That's a, just eat, eat there, it all, eat the whole thing. Get it in there, get it in there. Go on. <clears throat> There's a rule about never taking a big bite when you're on telly. Yeah, but yeah, luckily this isn't telly, bit. it's uh, Facebook and YouTube, so it's fine. Yeah. This is MJ, she's coming to join the party. Yeah. She's my fiance, our housemate. We are Hello. all social distancing. Welcome, MJ. Mm. Thank you. What do I, well there's so many different parts of it. I know. Where I tried the um, Take a spoon. I tried the broccoli, quinoa oh, and um, avocado. Oh. Delicious. Like you said, perfect mm -hmm. for um, our healthy uh, lifestyle that we're living at the moment. Lots yeah. of uh, gym training. Well, home gym training. Yeah. There we go. Sorry guys. Kat has just asked for more food shots of MJ uh, digging in and she just did. Oh, so very sorry. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's perfect, perfect workout food, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or post Pro workout food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, protein packed. Um, mm. Very good. It's delicious. I like the satay. Yeah. What's this one? What's the green green? Well, that is the satay, and this is actually a hummus over here. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Tasty. Mm. It's a good thing, huh? And this mm. red onion, which you can see here, yeah. is absolutely delicious. It's sweet. That oven has really done its job bringing out all the natural flavour of that onion. Yeah, oh yes, it's all about roasting off the mm. vegetables to get the best out of them. Mm. Guys, uh, points out of ten. Man, I'm, I'm going to give this a nine. Oh, fair play. Yeah, that's good. Delicious. I'm going to give it 8.9. 8.9? Yeah. Goodness, goodness gracious. Oh, it's, good. it's very precise. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, yeah, I think... I've still got a bit of the dal. Oh yes, oh, yes. Really yesterday. Yeah, 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 that was good, man. No, it's that really was a nice. Good. <laughs> I think that if you ate it and then like an hour later, you'd be ready to work out. Whereas with a curry, you're like yeah, roll yeah, to bed. Yeah. Exactly. Perfect. Well, well, thank you very much. Gym right, time you. later on then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100%. So um, we're going to do a quick Q&A yep. and read out some of your quotes. Yes, so um, firstly, Kat, if you've got any quotes. I got 99 problems, but protein ate one from Sarah. Ooh. Well done, Sarah, that was a goodie. And Kat, mm. no, next one. 
To, to eat is a necessity, but to eat intelligently is an art from Graham. Thank you very much from that, Graham. Beautiful, that Graham. Graham. That's deep, bro. That's deep. I feel you. And um, we already had one in the, that wicked one. Uh, one more, cat. <laughs> Uh, Nikki says, you can never cook a lentil. I don't know if that's a quote. I don't know, you can't overcook a lentil. Oh, right. Can you not overcook a lentil? If that is a quote, Nikki, well done, mate. You've just gone down a history. We've just immortalised you, or at least for the rest, <laughs> for the next three minutes. And if you've got any more questions, Kat is ready. Kat, have you got any questions? Meanwhile. How, how, how do we come up with the name Bosch? Bosch, right, so Bosch came about because um, we had a little name storm, which is basically a brainstorm of names. We went a bit uh, Goodwill hunting and we had like lots of whiteboards on the wall and stuff, lots of scribbles. Loads of names came out. Bosch was the one that just made sense. The rest were all rubbish. There was like V, ta v Tasty TV. Bosch was a good one and it boshed out of the wall once it was stuck on it. Uh, it also means now Boys of Sheffield. Mm. Um, Kat, any more for any more? In fact, let's make this the last question because I think we are edging towards 6.30, if mm. not past it. Can we do some more gluten-free recipes, please? The answer to that is yes. Can producer Kathy is the one in charge of that, so yeah, um, yeah, I, yeah we would love to try and find some gluten-free recipes and maybe make more gluten-free suggestions for you all too. Yes, so guys, thanks for the question. And thank you very much for viewing today. It's been a wonderful pleasure. Mm. Have you got a quote you'd have like I, to share with uh, the world? Oh, what? <laughs> I, I'm so good at that, no. <laughs> okay, have you? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the mine is from Goethe, although actually Goethe. it's uh, debated whether or not it's Goethe or someone else who I can't remember, which is um, anything you would do or wish you could, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. That's good. And that's it, in it as in inside it, in not it. as in Ali G. In, in it. it, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I, 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 now I've got one. It's like um, the best time to plant a tree was... 20 years ago, but now is the next best time. So if you were thinking about planting a tree that you want to sit under and get some shade, plant it now in 20 years, you'll be all good. Or if you're in quarantine and you're thinking, oh, I just want to write that book, or I just want to, you know, start that project or build my own business, perfect time to do it. Mm. That's how come we're here doing this, because at some point about, yeah. what, four years ago? Yeah, about four years ago. We like, sacked off our jobs and uh, kicked off Boss, so, um, do begin it now, if yeah. you can. Yeah, I think, seeing as we're on that sort of wave, it's like, yeah, I think uh, viewing things positively right now is a very, very good thing to do. It would mm. be really easy to sort of get bogged down. And to be honest, we have our bad days too. Sometimes you just sort of think, oh, when will this end? But no, like, it, let, let positivity sort of be king here. Yeah, and, and a, good, a good tip to do that is, you know, we, we're talking about high protein, but it's, it's getting that exercise in in the morning. And um, cooking nice food. Cooking nice food, yes, but, but just crank out that exercise in the morning. Whether it is a walk, everyone can do a walk or, you know, a stroll or a run, or, or whether it's two hours gymnastics or a 40 mile run like he was doing. But like, if you can prioritize that and get that out of the way, you do feel so motivated for the whole day. That's very good. So if you've got any sort of comments or quotes or anything, uh, any pockets of advice for the people who may be watching, Pop it down below so people can read them and hopefully be um, enthused by them. Do subscribe if you're not already. We love you all. This is so much fun. We will see you tomorrow for another Boss Live. Bye-bye. Woohoo!